Hi everyone, this is Aaron. Today is Thursday, October 19th, 2017. I am recording from my car, and you are listening to the Sound Words Podcast. This week, I've been talking about my five favorite life hacks, and today I will be discussing using a standing desk. I don't know what got me into standing desks in the first place. I think it's when I got my desk job as a RN clinical analyst where I found myself doing a lot more computer work. Now, nurses on the hospital floor, they have things called workstations on wheels. They are computers that the nurses can roll around to the different hospital rooms and they are also adjustable in height so they can be used while standing or sitting. I missed this aspect of my computer work when I started working as a clinical analyst. So what I would do is that I would get some boxes and I would raise my monitor screen as well as my keyboard and mouse. I am thankful for one of my coworkers who saw me using the boxes, said it was kind of ghetto, and used some budget to buy me an official standing desk. Standing desks are great because it allows you to get up and get down, to be moving, to stretch, to be mobile, and to get more work done. For me, I believe they help me get more work done because when I am standing, I am in a position where I am ready to attack my work. Now, my job is not only a desk job. I do still have to walk around, talk to people, get to the hospital floor. And so already standing, it puts me in a position where I am ready to leave my desk. And once I'm ready to come back to my desk, I can resume my work. I used to be able to only stand during the first part of my day. However, I feel that now I am able to switch between standing and sitting with the majority of my day being spent standing. I would recommend anyone using a standing desk to also invest in a foot mat. These mats are commonly used in the kitchen while people are washing dishes. However, I find it very useful and very relaxing for my feet when I use it at the computer. Thanks for listening to the Sound Words podcast. I don't know what life hack I'll be talking about tomorrow, but I'll see you then. You can always find me online, musicgoon.com. Bye.